Okay, so uh, without further ado, Brett, you take it away. Okay, well, speaking of train wrecks, here we go. <laughs> Get ready. Welcome aboard the Walt Disney World Railroad. We're about to take a grand circle tour of the Magic Kingdom with stops along the way at Frontierland, Fantasyland, and wherever else we end up in the Disney parks. Just sit tight and keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs well inside the train. Or, as my pal Miguel likes to say, Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. <laughs> Yee-haw! We have reached the wilderness of Frontierland, home of Lester's Possum Park, and those lovable country bears. Take it away, Buff, Max, and Melvin. Hey, Henry, what's holding you up? Let's get on with the show. Well, now, Buff, be patient. <laughs> yeah, we ain't going anywhere anyhow. Uh, we're kind of hung up here. <laughs> Howdy folks, welcome to the one and only original Country Bear Jamboree. And now the last of the big time swingers, Swingin' Teddy Bear. Y'all come up and see me sometime, you hear? <laughs> Soon as I find a ladder, I'll be right up. Next stop, Liberty Square and the Haunted Mansion. Say, let's try out our best Oh, freeze. When Hinders Creek and doorless chambers and strange and frightening sounds echo through the halls. Oh, did I mean to frighten you prematurely? But the real chills come now. I wonder how the sea witch would, uh, Vanessa, would you perform this? <laughs> Whenever candlelights flicker where the air is deathly still, that is the time when ghosts are present, practicing their terror with ghoulish delight. Oh, my dear, I sound divine. But now I wonder, how would Madame Min sound as this spectacular spectre? Welcome, foolish mortals, to the haunted mansion. <laughs> I am your host, your ghost host. <laughs> Kindly step all the way in, please, and make room for everyone. There's no turning back now. Holy <laughs> Engineer Goofy here, welcome aboard. Hey, uh, what do you suppose this button does? Wow! It looks like we're traveling back in time with the timekeeper and nine line. Now, please, from double rows and move to the center of the theater. Do it! You've been waiting outside. You've been in line for a while. Just do it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, timekeeper. What? Well, okay. Enough of this chit chat. Let's get ready to break the time barrier. That's right. My friends, no longer are we limited to traveling from place to place and losing our bags beforehand. Now, with my time machine, it is possible to travel from time to time. Hmm, you know, this thing looked much safer in the blueprints, but... It's perfectly safe. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Raising Neutrino Deals. Yeah. You know, if this gizmo's so safe, what are you doing with that neutrino shield, huh? Oh, nothing. It's just a little design flourish. <laughs> Don't worry. Lead line underwear, check. Laser gun targeting, check. Whoa! Hey, watch where you point that thing. It worked! <laughs> and they laughed at me back at the university. Maybe it was because of the tutu. Well, you... Yeah, that was funny, wasn't it? Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you down there anonymously, you ready to make some history? Yes, I am ready already. Let's go! I'll decide when we are ready to go. We ready to go? Yeah. Oh my, this place is spooky. Oh no, it looks like we've wandered into the extraterrestrial alien encounter. And it looks like Sir and Skippy have reported for duty. To the great big universe of XS. You may call me Sir, that is S I R, 
which stands for Simulated Intelligence Robotics. <laughs> what do you want, Skipper? I cannot understand you. What did someone steal your voice? Besides, <laughs> besides, you're a lucky volunteer. As my pal Professor Brainard may say, it really does take time to seize the future. You know, speaking of, let's reach out and touch tomorrow, okay? Take the future in our hand and cruise on over to Spaceship Earth, okay? Like a grand and miraculous spaceship, our planet has sailed through the universe of time. And for a brief moment, we have been among its passengers. But where are we going? And what kind of future will we discover there? No, wait, where are we actually going? I, I don't know, it's, it's almost like we're taking a journey into imagination, and it looks like a dream finder is concocting a figment, we saw him up here on the stage earlier, of imagination, what a spark! Oh, hello there, uh, so glad you could come along. I am the dream finder. Everything I collect can inspire amazing and marvelous new ideas, and you never know what kind of figment you may come upon. Oh, here's my favorite. Oh, <laughs> dream finder, I'm just right. Um, uh, yeah, uh, not quite. Huh? Uh, I'll throw in a dash of childish delight. <laughs> Look, figment, some new friends have joined us. Can they imagine too? Well, of course. Imagination is something that belongs to all of us. Guys, I don't know if I can do this line. <laughs> Some imagination, huh? <laughs> I feel like we've drifted off on a new adventure, an energy adventure. Ellen's energy adventure, to be exact. <laughs> but first, we have to go back. Back? Stage? No, 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 no. Oh, way back. Like many billion years ago. Oh, your wish is my command. Okay, but can we stop at Mini Mart or something and get some snacks because of a couple of million years ago we can give you such a crick in the neck? No can do. Time's a wasted. So, Come on. So that's how I became an ex an energy expert again. You know, again, expert may not be the exact right word, more expert ish, you know. Anyway, I gotta go. Look out for the dinosaurs! <laughs> I'm kidding. I I'm a kidder. I I'm really kidding. Bye-bye now. <laughs> That's a dinosaur. <laughs> Speaking of dinosaurs, I think we might have picked up a few from the Cretaceous period in this next attraction, Dinosaur. Hello there. Uh, hold on, Ashley. Sorry, not to be a director, but I think it'd be better if you use this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! yeah, now we can properly do this. Hello there! Welcome to our trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you and how you can help me make history today with the time rover. Oh, um, it seems I've arrived just in time to correct a little misstatement. One banshee extra large! Let's see if our interstellar explorers can bond with a banshee, an avatar flight of passage. Can anyone see me? Great. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon we're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi ride of passage flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ekron, or as we call it, a Banshee. But first, we need to find a compatible match of your genetic material uh, with the genetic material of one of the Avatar bodies that we already have. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that Avatar and uh, fly. Yeah. Anthony, that was that was the best really good. That was on point. <laughs> 
I think it's time we hop parks to Disney Hollywood Studios and the 1940s romance of Sunset Boulevard. Let's put on our old-timey radio voices for this next attraction, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. You unlock this door to the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Dun dun dun! Come on. Hollywood, 1939. <laughs> Amid the glitz and the glamour of a bustling young movie town at the height of its golden age, the Hollywood Tower Hotel was a star in its own right. A beacon for the show business elite. Now, something is about to happen that will change all that. The time is now, on an evening very much like the one we have just witnessed. Tonight's story on the Twilight Zone is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. This, as you may recognize, is a maintenance elevator, still in operation, waiting for you. We invite you, if you dare, to step aboard, because in tonight's episode, you are the star. And this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> oh, uh, let's line things up for a quick stop and bubble that Muppet Mupple. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it, it's okay. I can rewrite everything I want. You can do whatever you want. I call it Mupple, you call it Muppet, whatever. Let's call the whole thing off. We'll wind things up with a quick stop at Muppet Labs to see what Kermit, Gonzo, Fozzie, and Sam Eagle are up to. And they'll never recognize me now. Forward! <laughs> uh, gee, uh, is there anything Dean can do in the final number? Hmm. I'm glad we that dramatic pause. <laughs> My Fozzie is not at all good, so I'm just going to do this, a chocolate man in a, a very colored suit. So here we go. <laughs> oh gosh! Maybe, maybe, maybe we can set off the fireworks. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That sounds great. Well, yeah, and I'm staying all help. <laughs> I love fireworks. <laughs> well, uh, all, all case, uh, Sam, or, uh, are you about ready? Yes, it's a glorious three-hour finale. Well, you got a minute and a half. <gasps> Next stop, Hollywood Boulevard, and the great movie ride. <laughs> now that we've taken care of business, let's talk about me. My name is Anthony, and I will be your guide for this magical journey into the movies. It's the perfect job for me because I love movies. Is everybody ready? Well, great, because it's showtime. Ready when you are, CB. I'll let our tour guide take it away. Hold on to your wallets and purse, folks. This doesn't look like a very good neighborhood. In fact, it looks like the underworld, the scene of a classic gangster film, including some starring one of my favorite tough guys, James Cagney. All right, all right, open up your mug. Putty, where's Putty Nose? Putty Nose, beat it. You better lay low for a while. The heat is on. Why, that dirty, no good, yellow belly stool. I'm gonna give it to that Putty Nose right in the head the first time I see him. <laughs> you and who else? Ah, you dirty double crossing. Open up in there, you hear me? Listen, Mug, we got a little business to set off. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm telling you for the last time, when Dutch comes round, he's gonna give you some apple juice, and you're gonna take it, and you're gonna get kicking with the dough. And if you don't, somebody's gonna drop by here and kick your teeth out one at a time. You get me? I get you. Now be. Oh, a tough guy, eh? <laughs> now, somebody's coming, somebody's coming. Get down! I'm tour guide Barbie. Is it down? <laughs> No, 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 just a bunch of rubber necking tourists. What, you two? You want to blow our cover? Sorry for the delay, folks, but I don't want to run a red light, even if it is just a movie. Psst. Hey, you. You talking to me? You talking to me? 
No, sweetheart. I'm talking to the mouse in the funny looking outfit over there. That's me. <laughs> no. No. Well, I'll go over. Yes, but. Well, any, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm talking to you. Come here. Um, I'm not supposed to leave my vehicle. I said get over here. Okay, Muggsy, whatever you say. Hey, how'd you know my name anyways? I've seen the movie before. <laughs> Meow! <laughs> Whoa, the heat's on, see? And your fancy car is my ticket out of here. So beat it! You're making a big mistake, Muggsy. I said scram out of here or you're gonna get it. You're gonna get hoit. <laughs> <laughs> weird when it's spelled out, okay? Sorry. Hoyt, hold on, let me take that again. <clears throat> uh, I said scram out of here or you're gonna get hoit. Hoit. <laughs> I can't just walk out in the middle of the movie. Go on, beat it, you sap. Here they come, boss. Get your guidance. On second thought, I could go get some popcorn. This is Alien. You are with the Sigourney Weaver aboard the spaceship Nostromo. Something has gone wrong. One by one, the crew has vanished. And somewhere in the ship, a terrifying creature waits to claim its next victim. Thus, of the 3,000 years lies undisturbed in this ancient burial chamber, and on the trust of the great stone god, a priceless jewel. Wow! Get a load of that chunk of ice. Time for me to get back to work. Don't nobody move while I go get the goods. I don't think they notice a few extra bodies around here. If you know what I mean. <laughs> but the jewel is guarded by a curse. And those who dare defy that curse, well, they must pay with their voice. <laughs> halt, unbeliever! Disturb the treasure of the gods, and you shall pay with your lives. I was just going out for popcorn. <laughs> oh, no. I've got a feeling we're not at MGM Studios anymore. How often do you get to say that? I'd say we're definitely somewhere over the rainbow in one of the most beloved movies of all time. Who killed my sister? Was it you? No, no, it was an accident. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. Well, my little pretty, I can cause accidents too. Oh, rubbish. You have no power here. Be gone before someone drops a house on you, too. Very well. I'll buy my time. But just try to stay out of my way. Just try. I'll get you my pretty and your little puto, too. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> hmm. I wonder how to get out of here. Oh, what do you folks think? On the elephant road. Here's the end of the script. Oh, we're almost there. At last, at last. It's beautiful, isn't it? Just like I knew it would be. They really must be a wonderful wizard to live in a city like that. Oh, 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 oh. Ain't it the truth? Ain't it the truth? <laughs> the actual voice of the cowardly lion in the great movie, right? It's true. Thank you so much. Well, whoa, whoa. I'm supposed to bark there, too, there so. And you were there, and you were there, and oh, Pluto, I'll be home in time for supper. In another hour, it'll be king of the forest, long live the king. <laughs> On behalf of D23, the official Disney fan club, we'd like to thank you for joining us on The Great Vocal Movie Ride. we still have one more scene to do. It's called The Exit. 
The action begins with you remaining seated until destination D23 has come to a complete stop. Yeah, maybe he's right. When these doors opened at Disney's Contemporary Resort, rise dramatically to your, uh, what do you call them? <laughs> oh, feet. <laughs> and make a grand exit after a few announcements. Oh, and one more thing. When I yell action, don't forget the thunderous applause for yours truly. Okay, places everybody, and action! Woo!